And welcome back. Uh, Nigerian singer Douglas Jack Agu, popularly known as Ron Town, is not backing down on his announced mass action to protest the excesses of the special anti-robbery squad, SARS. In a series of uh, posts he shared on his social media pages on the 4th of October, he scheduled a protest for 8th of October, stating that police brutality has gone on for too long and that the government must listen and effect real and visible changes. Reiterating the proposed action, he tweeted, Thursday is Thursday. The protest is uh, publicly being supported by lawyer and activist and also entertainer Falari Falano, popularly known as Fouls the Bad Guy, and many other A-list celebrities. Joining us in the studio this morning to take a look at the strikes, the protests tomorrow issues, especially when it comes to the entertainment industry, is Plus TV Africa's Elsie Godwin. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. What's the difference with this one now? I mean, there was supposed to be one yesterday, mm -hmm. and there was one yesterday. Mm. So the one yesterday is supposed to be a three-day um, protest. It started yesterday, and it's going to run through Friday. But this one um, was, was proposed by Runtown, and I think he was the first early celebrity to actually come out to say, we have to do this, we have to take it beyond social media, right? And of course, we've seen support from people like Faust. Um, a lot of early celebrity have come out to say, we're going to do this. But um, what I hope that would be the difference would be the fact that these people have got more influence, they've got more reach. Um, the people from yesterday, yes, they are youth, they are social media influencers that joined the protest, but you cannot compare that to the kind of crowd or the voice that a person like Folari Falano would have and a person like um, Rontan would be able to pull. So we are hoping that um, the fact that these people are not backing down would make the government or people in charge understand that this case is a serious one and we are really tired. And the youths are saying we need things to be done better. We are not saying don't arrest the criminals. Um, we understand them saying that um, SARS um, is important, especially for robbery, kidnapping, and all the ills we hear around um, concerning violence crimes. They need them for that purpose. But they are now saying, can these people be Orient, uh, giving the orientation for them to understand that they need to stay in their lane and do their job. Stop profiling people because you see them wearing a certain um, type of clothes or using a certain form of gadget. You think that they are criminals. It's just, I would believe they're supposed to be like a, a, a set of rules for so, some questioning, some intelligence for you to understand or for you to go through to, before you come to the conclusion to say this person is a criminal. So um, we're just hoping that this protest will be peaceful, different, and and um, help them understand that people are tired. Let, let's also talk about um, synergy now. Um, for, for the longest time, a lot of people have wanted um, artists that have all the influence in the industry to always be vocal, always speak out, you know, with regards to the ills of society and the things that the youth are dealing with. Mm -hmm. um, so why do you think there's no synergy now between this particular protest we're talking about and the one, you know, that was supposed to be organized by Naira Mali? I mean, um, that one apparently fell off, you yeah. know, and then... Mm -hmm. That worries me as well because, I mean, I mentioned it yesterday on Tea Time that I would have loved to see a level of synergy. But the good thing is it's, it's more like a faction now. So you have the Naramali camp, even though they backed down, um, he still had the conversation with the Inspector General, um, someone from the police, and some issues were addressed, and we're hoping that this is going beyond addressing the issues, right? Um, right, right now, um, this one is happening today. Unfortunately, we do not have that synergy, but I think this is something that happens when you have issues of this magnitude. I'm also hoping that we can have this form of protest in different parts of the country, because when it comes to um, SAS brutality or police brutality, it's not just about Lagos State. Most of the stories you're seeing online and even verifiable stories are not all from Lagos State. So we're hoping that people can stand up, not be violent, not do anything that would harm the um, rest in the society, but be able to speak up to say, this is what we want and this is what we expect from you. One would say, I mean, they've spoken up. Uh, the government seems to be listening. Uh, the um, IG has said uh, they will rejig, even though we've heard that rhetoric before now. Mm -hmm. um, and that, um, I mean, they're not going to, no matter how much we protest, they're not going to, you know, disband completely mm -hmm. uh, the SARS um, section of the police. So, I mean, one wonders, why continue, really? Except you're asking us to give up. 
and um, expect that people will keep dying unnecessarily because this, these are human lives and we expect that we should be treated we, with we level. We want an action. That's yeah. what some people And action argue. is what people are pushing for. So this is the third time we're hearing this set of response saying, oh, they would speak to them, things would be done differently, don't move around in Mufti, people have the right to use their phones, you don't have the right to check their phone. We've heard that over and over again. There is nothing new in what was put out on, was it Monday morning, to address the issue. We've heard it all over again. All we're saying is, can this now be taken into action? I believe that we have working leaders. I believe that our leaders can actually swing into action when they want to. Because we've seen that play out in the RRS section of the police. And if you take a closer look at that section of the Nigerian police force, you realize how sanitized that section is and how they have been able to do their job and do it rightly. I don't know how, why that has not been replicated in every other part of Nigeria police force, but we are hoping that the SAS, as much as they are needed, they can get the kind of orientation they need, be enlightened, not um, someone not even understanding the use of a mobile phone. Do you understand? So we need them to be enlightened. We need them to get the proper training. We need them to do their jobs and do it rightly well, not oppressing us. Because I believe there are people we are supposed to see on the road and walk to to say, we have this issue. Can you help us? You know, that is why they have to patrol. That's how they, they need to make sure that people are safe. But if there are people that I would see and decide to take the other way, then there is a problem. Are we right, running right. away from SARS right, or we're running away from the people that they are supposed to protect us from? I saw um, um, one of the uh, Instagram live uh, videos by Sheon Kuti, mm -hmm. and he asked a question um, uh, um, somewhere in between. He was asking, you know, if you wake up at 2 a.m., you hear loud banging on your door, and the person on the other side says, we're arm robbers, or you wake up at 2 a.m., you hear loud banging on your door, and the person says, oh, we're SARS officers, you know, do you, do you feel different? With both, you know, and thinking about it, actually, we'll feel the same way, mm -hmm. you know, regardless mm -hmm. of who's, yeah. you know. Um, yeah. But that's from Sheung Kuti. But I want to talk about those people who feel Naira Marley sold out. Mm. Um, do you agree with them? Um, I would not use the word sold out. Um, I think he's definitely trying to reason with um, the authorities. Remember, he had the issue um, with the COVID-19 lockdown protocols that he flouted. So I believe he has closer relationship with these people now and can probably pick up his phone or they pick up their phone and speak to him to get him to do the right thing and help them pass the right message. So, I mean, in Naramali protest, um, I mean, Runtown is a celebrity, Falls is a celebrity, but the kind of crowd that in Naramali would pull <laughs> can be the kind of crowd that uh, even the police well, will not be able to control. Isn't, isn't his pulling out affecting uh, the purpose of the entire protest? Because mm -hmm. uh, one would expect that it would be more forceful and more impactful for what we are looking at if they all come together and pull that crowd that you're talking about mm -hmm. to make their point. Mm. So for a Naramali and a run town, I'm going to use the difference between an activist and an advocate. So if Naramali goes out to do what he was going to do on Monday, was it Monday? Yeah, if he went out to do that, I think that would have created another form of problem that would probably would not be able to contain. And um, But for someone like Faust and the kind of people that would be around that environment, it would give us that opportunity to say, we are just letting everybody understand our feelings reel out the, the issues we want addressed and listen to them. We don't want to get to that point where it becomes violent or we now hear it is a mannerless movement. You know, we want to have conversations and move forward. We do not want a situation whereby there is chaos. And the kind of crowd that Naramali would pull might, I'm not saying this would be the case, but might get us to that point. So him listening to um, um, the Minister of um, Sports and um, for Youth and Sports Development and all that, I think it is a welcome development. And of course, he had conversations. The Instagram Live had over 31,000 um, people watching and the conversations went on. So I'm hoping that this would also help as well. I mean, we have to have conversations anyway. How do you think, how do you think this one would play out, um, the one today? Do you think there's going to be a lot more celebrities um, I think the there will be a lot more celebrities. I'm hoping they don't pull out anyway, because this is just, um, <laughs> uh, we still have about an hour to that time, but I'm hoping they go through, and I'm, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure there will be more celebrities and more people to speak out as well. And I'm also hoping that our parents 
would rise up because right now it's looking like it's a fight for the youth right. but these are people i mean when we're having this conversation you hear oh you you made me childless i lost my son my only child but the vibe i'm getting from the society is making it look I like think, this I think is a problem there's a sense that it's for a, the youth the you know and i don't think that's the case yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you very much elsie for coming thank on you. the breakfast thank you hello Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.